Hello, this is Earl Netwall, the Micro Business Specialist, speaking on behalf of Minneapolis Internet Marketing Consultant.com in the first of a series of short videos on search engine optimization. We're going to start with the basics in this video and we'll take it into some real uh, nitty-gritty in future videos, but uh, what we have today is very important as well, so uh, please pay attention. What is SEO? SEO is search engine optimization, which is basically the tools, techniques, the science and or art that you need to employ in which to get a particular web page to be ranked at the top of Google results when someone searches for an appropriate keyword. Now, say for example, you're in the business of selling tropical fish. If you were able to have the number one listing on Google in the category of buy tropical fish online, you're going to get an awful lot of traffic coming to your site. Now, if that site converts appropriately, you're going to make a lot of sales. Now, whether the site converts or not is a different topic that we'll get to in another series of tutorials. But for now, we're going to talk about how do you get that free traffic to come to your site by virtue of being on the top of the Google rankings and that is what SEO is all about. So the question is, we know SEO properly done can generate traffic and traffic can hopefully generate sales. How do you get to the top? How do you use SEO to achieve that? Well, if you go to look at any ebook or any other uh, resource on the topic of search engine optimization, including some that I've written, you'll discover that most people talk about the two major factors. There's what we call on-page factors and there's what we call off-page factors that make a difference. Now they both make a difference but what we're going to focus on today is that second group, that off-page factors because it turns out that you can do completely without any on-page of the any on-page ideas or concepts at all and still get yourself listed on the top of Google Pages and I'm going to prove it to you in a moment. But the important thing here is that of the two sides, the most powerful is the off-page linking. Now when I talk about linking, I'm talking about other websites that link to your particular page that you want to raise up in the search engines. We call that backlink sometimes. Linking is uh, maybe the more direct term when someone is linking from their site to your site and when they're using what is called an anchor text. And we'll talk about anchor text in the text below this video. But what that basically is is when someone would, clicks on a phrase by tropical fish online and that that phrase is linked to your web page that counts as a backlink for that keyword and that's what you want to accomplish with your backlinking uh, to your website the more links you have from the more different sites out there the better and in fact backlinks by themselves and of themselves are enough to get you to the top of the search engine results if you have enough of them and then we'll talk later about a, a little other additional concepts such as the value of individual backlinks because frankly they're not all created equal but we'll get that to that in more detail in a future video so I want to prove this concept to you that backlinks are what it's all about, or at least the most powerful end of the game. And the easiest way to do that is to use a classic example. If you were to go to Google right now and search for the phrase, click here, you're going to not be too surprised, I suspect, to discover that the number one sh site that shows up under click here on Google is Adobe. Uh, because everybody that's ever had to download Adobe so they could read PDFs on their website have clicked on a link that said click here and they went to Adobe. Also up there is Apple QuickTime. Now if you were to actually go to these sites and actually look at them you would discover that there's nowhere on the site that says click here. It's not an anchor text. It's not something they try to optimize their site for. It's just that over the years so many millions of people and so many different websites have referred to get your Adobe uh, you know, uh, program by clicking here that it is ranked number one on the Google results uh, even though they don't try to. So 
what that serves to show you is the sheer power of backlinks if you have enough of them. Now we'll talk in our next video about on-page factors because while I say that you can get there all by yourself with backlinking and your primary strategies that I'm going to recommend to you involve focusing on backlinking, there still is a role for that on-page part and we're going to talk about that in the next video. Until then, this is Earl Netwall, the Micro Business Specialist, signing off. Looking forward to talking to you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.